Dan Kaufman has written for the New York Times Magazine and The New Yorker. He spoke to Fresh Air's Dave Davies about his new book, The Fall of Wisconsin, The Conservative Conquest of a Progressive Bastion and the Future of American Politics. When, when Walker did this, he said it was partly to respond to a budget crisis, and that was a real thing. I mean, that's independently confirmed. And, Absolutely. And the public Absolutely. employee unions offered to make concessions, as I understand it. They offered to pay more for their pension funds yeah. and pay more for their health benefits. But what he wanted to do was fundamentally undermine their ability to represent members. What I would argue Walker was doing was kind of bringing everyone down, or at least the vast majority. The very wealthy were given tax breaks as well as powerful corporations. And he did this by doing something that has changed Wisconsin very fundamentally. He stoked resentment against the public workers. It was clear in his inaugural address uh, in 2011, he said, the public employees can no longer be the haves and the taxpayers can no longer be the have-nots. Privately, he even went further. There's a famous recording of him speaking to a billionaire donor where she says, when will we become a completely red state? When will we become a right-to-work state? She conflated the two. And he answered, you know, have you seen what we're going to do with the public employees? And then he went on, he said, you know, because you use divide and conquer. What he meant by that was he was going to first attack the public employees. And then several years later, he instituted a right to work law against the private sector employees. Now you have a state that went from 14% union density when he was elected to 8%. There was frankly a weak democratic opposition to his message. And there was a stoking of resentment in a time of economic insecurity that is very powerful. And there weren't people weren't being offered an alternative uh, a very compelling one anyway. It would have been interesting if Senator Sanders had won the Democratic nomination. I don't know what would have happened, but it seemed like a more of a clear-cut, uh, different kind of message, a message more in tune with Wisconsin's past of lifting everyone up. Dan Kaufman, thanks so much for speaking with us. Thank you very much, Dave. It's been a real pleasure. Dan Kaufman is the author of The Fall of Wisconsin. He spoke with Fresh Air's Dave Davies, who's also WHYY's senior reporter.